What is good YouTube? It's your boy King Dao and today we have another breakdown, the last breakdown to end my music video breakdown series for Spiritual Eyes, the album that I dropped last year in September 2021. And for that one, it is the last song, which is the title track called Spiritual Eyes. Spiritual Eyes was the concept of the album. And I think I said this in probably the first breakdown to this project, but the, the idea for Spiritual Eyes came from reading um, the author who wrote The Four Agreements. Someone please leave a comment because I, I literally forget and I'll look this up later and then I'll have it. But if you anyone remember members the author of the four agreements book um if you've read that which is an awesome book he also wrote another book that i that i read which talked about the spiritual eye like the third eye essentially and so that's where i came up with the ideas the project of the project just to recap and so yeah that was the whole idea behind that based off the cover art shout out to your hair for making that cover art um which became merch and all these other cool things um uh like basically a part of my brand and um when i made the song spiritual eyes to end the project i just basically want to end how we started right we start with valley of reason going to the valley of reason going to like the forest of my mind and understanding of my Myself. and then we go through that journey dealing with like two can who can right feeling of you know feeling like feeling myself right basically fly like men like batman and then you know heaven you know just basically having that love that love affection for feminine energy uh, to someone who makes me feel like heaven to basically when we get to the last and skexy of course right where we talk about basically someone sucking my energy and all these different things and then when we get to spiritual eyes we want to end closing up the theme closing up the idea of this whole concept and uh when closing it out and i'm talking about the tree of knowing right because in this book that i'm referencing uh, the author who wrote it is uh talks about like the tree of knowing the tree of life i mean we also hear this in the bible right like the garden of eden the tree of knowledge you know and so what i'm singing in my hook now i know i see see everything from the tree tree now i know i see 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 yes i be be now i now i see see everything from the tree just understanding that everything comes from nature i finally understand the message that the world is trying to give me and when i was thinking about this concept and i, and I approached zach with it i was like yo i want to film this in the woods and the beautiful thing is that i live in seattle washington i live in the, the greater washington area pacific northwest where it's green all the time there's trees everywhere in your backyard and it was no different from like my area my neighborhood uh just like when you look at the visuals of this like when you see me in, in the forest and in all the woods that's literally my backyard there's a trail that goes all the way from my place to the central market which is like the local market area um but like that whole trail just has like a pathway of trees leading all the way back and forth so i just we just literally went behind my backyard and went deep into the woods to do that and it was in the summer uh i want to say it was like probably july when we when we did it and it was perfect like how the how the, all the lights seeped in through the trees and all that basically i get like one of my old towels and i'm like this looks pretty like african authentic like gym making like it just it just like fit the vibe of what i want to do so i just like i brought that i brought like a cane that uh i bought a cane from party city actually that day i bought a bunch of stuff that i from party city that i did use for skexy and toucan wukan and uh, that day so yeah um and i think that's the same day we shot a bunch of stuff basically i got that cane and i just want to dance and just like have this very like tribal rastafarian but also like very like liberating like feel and, and, and like shaman like energy right as people would say like very shamanic very spiritual was the vibe when i was making it and i knew you know thanks to zach's masterful color grading that it was gonna be like beautiful like radiant and glowing music video visual that i made up to that point and uh yeah it was dope um and yeah i just told i t like i wanted this to be more of like a visualizer type of feeling i told zach like yo like i'm not going to rap i just want it to be like us to have different like kind of like what we did for sway where we had like different like cut scenes and different like a lot of things moving over and over like a visualizer essentially and so me dancing on the trees you know shaking my dreads and looking up around kind of like a shepherd of the forest type of feel and yeah it was it was it was a lot of fun it was super fun i, remember, I guess there's like some guy who was camping out in a tent i don't know if he was homeless or whatever but there's a guy like around the corner because we, we heard some weird moaning and like we just went around and yeah there's some dude doing his thing but yeah those woods the cool thing about watching 
Washington is that it's easy to like if you're homeless or if you need to find food or whatever it's easy just to like camp out in the woods and like there's wild, wild berries everywhere so like it's easy to like survive out here <laughs> so that, that it was funny that we caught that moment um and yeah it, it was super dope and the only thing it was frustrating but like i'm glad like we ended up doing it like zach wanted to redo the video because he just got a new camera that he got from portland he kept telling me about it and then finally he got it. he's like yo i would love to shoot spiritual eyes on my new camera like it's gonna be super dope trust me bro and i was like damn and and at first i was like ah, i was gonna say no because i'm like man like we just did all that work i know it's already gonna be cool because like leading up you know like there's no there's no difference if you guys i mean like obviously you guys can see our trajectory but like i didn't think it was gonna be, make such a big deal people didn't notice if we uh had a different camera or not but i knew how much important it was to zach and i understood like okay for him to help my vision come to life the way that we want it to well let me just let him you know let, let, let's redo it so i was like yeah sure we, we did let's do it so we redid the video yeah we redid the video and I, yeah we went back and uh did the whole thing i believe yeah and um i'm glad we did because like when he was showing me the behind the scenes and like as we're getting things ready and we're doing teaser videos it looked crazy it looks like a movie it looks like so we make movies i've been saying this i we don't even make visuals we don't even make music videos we, we make movies because it was just so it was so cinematic it was so cinematic how the things popped up on screen just like having me like pose like that and how me glaring at the camera it, it was just perfect um the only regret i wish i had i wish i had like daishiki shorts or it's just something a little bit more african or something because you guys see i'm wearing my black jeans and like my my, uh, my jays or whatever and like you know you can see my boxers a little bit but it's cool though because it worked out because it's like people got the shamanic vibe but since we're living in modern times it's like oh okay here's a modern dude like no matter what like people have described me as an old soul like i get that a lot i'm only 28 i think it was, yeah 27 when we shot this but yeah people have always described me as an old soul energy just how mature i am so it's like no matter like what i'm doing or how i'm communicating whatever vision i'm doing it's like it's always going to come out the way i want it to just because of my maturity i guess and being someone who grew up listening to all types of music you know from reggae jazz hip-hop whatever it's very easy to combine those in genre transcend them implementing them in real time um because if you listen to the beat shout out to top hat productions the beat that I chose to use it's got like a reggae vibe but it's also trap and a lot of my Jamaican brethren would get it I feel like if they heard that they'd be like oh yeah this is this is giving me Jamaican vibes it's funny how people call spiritual eyes a trap album because that's damn near a reggae album <laughs> if you really look at most of most of the stuff there are some the trap elements could definitely be a part of it but like when I perform this stuff and the live stuff translates outside of the music videos and the music it definitely gives off a little bit more like a reggae soul vibe thing um with a heavy groove so but you know it's uh, the music is up to interpretation for the listener i'm not here to correct people i want people to basically uh have their own opinion and you know however it makes them feel is however it makes them feel i'm just the guy i'm just the messenger i'm just the guy who puts the message out so yeah spiritual eyes yeah basically just talking about the tree of life seeking the truth within myself and understanding it within nature and which is why we did it in like the most pretty like because we could have did it anywhere but i th but i always want to shoot some type of video in my backyard so yeah guys this has been the spiritual eyes breakdown thank you so much for listening to the last visual to end the project spiritual eyes really appreciate it these breakdowns mean so so much to me and it's just been fun a fun journey and we have a lot more to go along the way um as we move in to the year 2022 when we get to 2022 is when we um have a lot more cool stuff collaborations a lot more fun things with different artists and new solo music as well as we get into the new year so thank you guys for listening to these different breakdowns thank you for leaving comments sharing liking being part of the chat and uh, make sure you, you uh, check out King Dow Kingdom and let me know how you feel about the project. You know, shout out to my boy Crazy Mike for helping me produce it. It's been my best work, our best work. I feel like I can speak for both of us that we've done. So we're super proud of it. So just let us know what you think. And a link to that project will be down below. And also just let me know what was your favorite breakdown so far. And what would you like to see to keep this series going as we go along in the journey of 
my musical journey as King Dao that started in 2018. So thank you guys. This has been the Spiritual Eyes Breakdown. Again, make sure to follow the team, leave a like, comment, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.